my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a vintage inspired look for you guys. I was born in lockdown basically so I thought this would hopefully be a fun video. I'm going to be doing my hair in pink curl so I've got my comb, brush, lots of pins and hairspray and I'm going to be doing a vintage inspired outfit. Also my makeup and nails and I'm going to complete the look with my mum's pearl necklace which is about 50 years old. So that is going to be completing the look today and a nice spritz of perfume as well at the end. So sit back, relax, and I really hope you enjoy. So for my vintage look today, I'm trying out 1940s pink curls. I washed my hair this morning and so I did the pink curls on damp hair. I did them all lying flat apart from three at the top where my side fringe is. I rolled those ones upwards to give some height to the style and obviously I pinned them all securely in place. And then I sprayed them liberally with hairspray. The longer you leave your pink curls in to dry, the more likely your hair is to curl and stay in that style. So you might want to leave yours in overnight. My hair is naturally curly, so I just left mine in for a few hours and then used a hairdryer at the end to make sure they were fully dry. You definitely want them dry before you start taking them out. So there we go. My pink curls are in place and it's a good look, isn't it? <laughs> So while my pink curls were drying, I decided to do my makeup. I used my usual foundation and concealer for this 1940s look. I'll write down everything that I've used in this video in the description box for you guys. But instead of using any bronzer or highlighter, I instead used an extra um, amount of face powder than I usually would, basically trying to keep the look very matte as that is what it was like in the 1940s. I then use my usual blusher and I'm very pale at the moment so I use that pretty liberally and then it was time to define my eyebrows. Moving on to eyeshadow, I usually use cream eyeshadow which is quite metallic. Um, but as I said in the 1940s, um, all the makeup would be very matte based. So I used a Rimmel eye palette and tried to pick a dark brown and a lighter colour near my eyebrows that were as least shimmery as I could possibly get. Next I did my usual winged eyeliner because you know me and my makeup looks, I can't not do winged eyeliner. But actually, you know, back then some women did do a winged eyeliner look so it's in fitting with the vintage style. And then I finished off the eye makeup with my mascara. And then it was the final finishing touch to the look. Of course, it has to be red lipstick for a vintage 1940s style. And I really like this um, bright red Dior shade that I've had for years and years, and it just really completed the look. So with a little blot, I was ready to go. So then I painted my nails and obviously it had to be a matching red to my lipstick and then it was time to pick out my outfit for today. I don't have any vintage clothes. Sometimes I like a sort of vintage kind of style. I went with this polka dot dress and a little cardigan and of course my mom's pearls that I showed you at the start of the video. And then it was time to see if my pink curls were dry and ready to style. My curls were dry, so it was time to unpin them. As you can see, the curls took really well to my hair. In fact, the front of the hair is probably a little bit too curly for this kind of look. In future, I would maybe do looser, larger pink curls at the front and tighter, smaller ones at the back. But you know, it's a learning experience. It's the first time I did it, and I'm really happy that the curls took to my hair. So I wouldn't mess up the style once I had done it. I thought it was a time to get dressed, put my glasses on so I can see properly and then finish off the look. So 
so now we are at the brushing out curls stage of this makeover as I said my hair had gone particularly curly at the front so I really had to um, get in there with a the hairbrush brush that out and if you're gonna do this style just make sure you try to brush it under as much as you can use your fingers use a brush and just tease out the curls as much as you like and yeah in future I would maybe have it a bit less curly at the front but I had to kind of go with it and yeah just ca carried on kind of working through brushing it out trying to brush it under and getting it as sleek and as close to a 1940s kind of style as I could And then it was time to work on the top section. So as I said, I had done the pin curls um, lifting upwards just to give me that lift on my fringe. And luckily it had um, swept the usual way that it does. So that was good. So I just had to kind of tease out the little curl at the end and make sure it had enough lift. And yeah, I really like how it has gone. My hair had gone slightly frizzy because it does have a tendency to do that. So if yours is the same, you might want to put some serum or balm or oil on it just to smooth it down. And then of course, we have to put more hairspray on it guys. We have to keep this style in place and also smooth any frizz and flyaways. So I'm using my usual Frizz Ease hairspray to do that. And there we go, we are done. I have a vintage style 1940s makeover and I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. For the first time doing it, I'm really happy with it. There's different tweaks that I would do next time, but overall, I really love this look and I feel super glamorous and it's really brightened up my lockdown day today and I really hoped it has brightened up yours as well and that you enjoyed watching it and you really like the finished look. And with a spritz of perfume, we are done. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please do subscribe for more videos from me in the future. Take care, look after yourselves. See you next time. Bye, guys.